How you doing? Um, so, so far, I hope you guys have been watching my uh, my videos I've been making for the How to Be Successful in College series. Um, so this is going to be video number three. Yes, three. Um, college is different from high school. You have more freedoms and you have a lot you can very much you're you're an adult and I put that in quotation marks because for the most part you are an adult but still you can't legally do two things which is drink alcohol and and um what's we call it and vote or not vote um and uh gamble that's the two things um this is going this is assuming you're 18 19 years old um, if you're like 24, 25, don't worry about it. You're legal in every single sense of the, of the little word. And blah, 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 blah. Cool, cool. Um, yeah. College. Alright. So, basically in college, you, like I said, you have more freedoms. You not, you may not be at home. Or you don't, may not live at home or whatever. If you're someone like me who... Like, I'm from California, but I go to school in New York, or you're from, I don't know, the UK, or some overseas, or you live far away from home, um, and you can't visit, really visit home a whole lot, you tend to improvise and grow up a lot more than those who, um, grow, like, who come, or commute from home, or live near home, or visit home every other day, weekend, or... Something like that. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm. I can tell you that I've grown up in the most um, in my first. I want to say first three four weeks away from being home. It was cool. It was really cool. I tried to expand myself as best of a person as possible. Tried to understand myself a lot better. Understand that. I cannot live live in a bubble anymore in my life. Um, I come from a place in California called Cupertino. Um, that's some of you may be thinking it's like Cupertino. Where have I heard that before? Or something along those lines. Uh, that's where Apple headquarters is. That's why you see if you get like a new iPhone, iPod, whatever, you will see um, places with. But their weather settings be like Cupertino is whatever it is and so on and so forth. But so for me it was I grew up a lot. It was fun. I like that area was more like really protected. Like we didn't really have anything to do, meaning like we didn't have drug dealers on every corner or it was it's not the ghetto. And I, to my viewers who see that, I do apologize if I insulted you in any, any way, shape, or form. But, excuse me. But it's the truth. Um, my, the area that where I call home, Cupertino, is one of the wealthier areas of California. It's one, part of the Silicon Valley and all that stuff. So, it's really cool. I, I really enjoy being there. Um, yeah. <laughs> but after coming to New York for college, it it changed me. I'm not going to say for better or worse, because I've been on both sides. But it has changed me, I think, for the better. Um, mainly because I thought that I was top of the world. Um thinking that I could do everything I did in high school and be successful in college. It, it, it's not. I, I unfortunately learned the hard way. So, me, hope, my, the main reason why I'm trying to make this series is because if I want to be able to teach you guys or show you guys, the viewers, what not to do in college so... When you get to college, you know how to be successful in college. Because college is basically either you do or you don't. That's it. 
it's kind of like what Yoda said to uh, Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. Um, I can't do the Yoda accent, so I'm going to say it as is. You must do or do not. There is no try. That's how college is. If you do a set of homework problems for, let's say, your calculus class, that means you are going to be successful in those class, er, and then you have a quiz, let's say, two days from now. I'm just throwing a random day. Uh, that means you have a better chance of getting a better grade on that quiz um, than you do if you just went into a blind and just review, open the textbook, or yeah, open the textbook, look over your notes, and not do a single problem. That's me. So at the end of the day, college is hard for a lot of, for a lot of reasons. Um, number one, emotional because you have a lot of things going on. Um, unlike in high school, where where you basically can tell the per, tell the teacher in high school, say, "Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Insert name here, um, I have an exam in this class for my fifth period class. Can you please can we move the test one day, or can we move the test two days, or can we move it to the day before or the day after, whatever." In college, you can't do that. It's basically, if you have four exams in one day, you have four exams in one day and you have to deal with it. You can't say, oh, professor, can you move the exam to for the next class? Um, I have three other exams. Like, that's what college is. Or if you have three exams and two papers and do all in the same day or roughly the same time, it's hard. <laughs> You won't be, you would have to make sacrifices. It's not like, it's not all rainbows and, and unicorns and, uh, and everything. It's not. Um, you can't just say, oh, professor, I have to do 15 different things and I can't take the exam today. Can you please move it? It's like, eh. Like you can you can't do that for the most part. And note the words I just use for the most part. Um, if you have like an emergency, i.e., um, you got hurt, you have to go to the hospital, or your one of your family members is in the hospital, or whatever, something serious like that, then okay, fine. The professor has to make the, has can make the an exception for you, but you have to have a valid reason for. Having that change, you can't say, "Oh, um, I," or I, "I just don't feel like taking the exam," or "My dog ate my homework," kind of thing. You that that stuff doesn't fly. Yes, I know my hair is going out here, up here, and down here. So, oh, I got that. But yeah, she didn't get her cut. But anyways. College is not for everyone. I think I made a video for choices in life. I think I mentioned that or in that video or in one of my other videos. I don't remember which one. Um, college is hard. Not for everyone. I've seen people change their majors. I've seen people drop out of college because of various reasons. College is also very expensive in today's world. Um... Yeah, believe it or not. So, to basically to wrap this up, um, college is hard. Um, imagine, imagine in high school you have one year to learn all the material that you need to learn. Um, in college, you have a semester to learn all the material that you need to learn. Um, it, it's basically a year's worth of material crammed down to like a quarter or a semester or whatever. So, college is basically, if you go to class, you have to hit the ground running. If you, if you don't hit the ground running you go to, and you're going to say, oh, I'm just going to cruise through this and get like a 4.0 and because I got a 4.0 in high school, that's what I did in high school. It's like, it's possible for you to do that. But in reality, it, 
I don't think you can. You would have to work hard. Um, I know that's a lot of people are saying, oh, I don't want to work hard. Well, college and life, you have to work hard for your dreams, whatever they are. Um, which, I should make a video on, just realize that, about dreams. But, yeah, college, it's hard. At least for them, it's also fun. So, I just want to make sure, like, you guys know, college is not all... Studying all the time, working all the time, not doing, having any fun. Um, so basically, in my what was it three episode, three videos ago, two videos ago, last video, but in this series, the second video in the series basically uh, explains what or one of the tips and the three tips that I gave you last time was make a calendar, make a calendar with all your classes, your exams, on what days. And fill it out. That's what helped me a lot through college, and um, that's what helped me get get good grades. And it helps me to study when I'm supposed to study, and it allows me to have fun on days when I can have fun instead of having to do work all the time and then having fun on days when I can't have fun. All right. So this is going to be it for this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about college and stuff like that. Alright? Have a good one.